everybody and welcome to another vlog. As always, check the description for some timestamps if you want to jump ahead. Here we are in Rishikesh, India, the yoga capital of the world. So, namaste. Salutations and greetings. <laughs> anyway, um, first things first, let's go swim in the Ganges. this morning did some yoga beautiful breakfast came and swam in the Ganges Wow I would say this is this has been a magical morning <laughs> really a special place here really great it feels very peaceful uh, but it's also center of adventure center of adventure yeah oh, yeah you can do hiking in the Himalayas, you can do rafting here, you can do camping. So our next couple of videos you'll probably see at least one or two of those activities. So we're in front of the Laksmanjula here. It's the main bridge that connects uh, tap, the Tapofan area where we are staying to the other side. So right now we're gonna go through it. There will be some cows and monkeys. They're pretty aggressive, all those monkeys. <laughs> uh, yesterday we passed by here and it was trying to steal my banana. So <laughs> careful of your belongings. So we're gonna go to a secret, secret beach. Steve is gonna take another dip on the Ganga River. And then we're gonna go visit the Beatles Ashram. It's about a 40 minutes walk from here. So let's go. Let's go. As you can feel the bridge moving beneath your feet, up and down, it's really cool. Yeah, it's very, scary. It's, it's kind of scary. It's cool though. So Ivana, how was your bridge experience? It's crowded. Here. Crowded and crazy. Kind of like India. Yeah. <laughs> Monkeys, cows, motorbikes, people. Nice. Yeah. Nice. This has got to be it. Look at this little pathway here. Dun dun dun. Mr. Cow. E buddy boy. Can I go past you? Oh, it smells nice over here. Whoo, baby. Oh, look at this pathway down to private beach. Ivana, give me a give me a high five, thumbs up, turn around, boom boom. Give me a whoa! Yeah! Looks great over here. I'm excited. Oh, this is just great, Ivana. Look at this quiet beach here. Wow, Ivana. You uh you really nailed it, Ivana. <laughs> I'm gonna plunge, baby. Look at this, you've got people drawing hearts on the ground. Just just a great place. This could be uh this could be a lot of different countries, you know? This is just a beautiful place here. There, is that a bridge? That's oh, a different bridge. Different. Same design, different bridge. Uh, wow, what a special place. Okay. I say... Last one in the water is a rotten egg. Do you feel Ice refreshed? Do I feel refreshed? Absolutely. Mm, the water looks Physically very inviting. and spiritually. Ooh, wanna, look at it. Look at this, all this greenery around. Very quiet. This might be the quietest place in India we've found. You know, you've got the rafters here. 
you've got these buildings kind of nestled amongst the hills. On a hot day like this, this cold water is perfect. Quick dip and back on the road. So now we're going to the Beatles Ash. Let's go. Just wanted to mention how great this little walkway is. Oh, look at this little trees. Really great over here. Little huts going on here. Nice and quiet. I don't know if you just noticed, but two scooters just went by and they didn't honk for no reason. Oh, wow. Was just just fantastic. Really great. This place is really special, man. Just was swimming down there and it was like amazing. Ice cold water, so refreshing. Beautiful, Beautiful crisp. That's the that, that's the word. It's not actually cold water, it's crisp. It's crisp and refreshing, like a nice iced lemonade. Still got the picture, got the video. <laughs> awesome. Wow, look at this place. Bunch of horses, maybe donkeys actually. How do you tell the difference between a horse and a donkey? Those horses like or donkeys? Horses. How about this guy on the end, this one over here? Hmm. Maybe a donkey. I don't know. But they're just grazing, roaming. The water is flowing, nice and crisp. You got cows happening. Look at Ivana with her big camera lens. Just professional. Wow. There will be a day where you get paid to do that, Ivana. Because you are on a roll right now. I think we found something called Parmenth Nikiton. Nikita. It's an ashram. It's an ashram. You should probably do a yoga retreat here, Ivana. Probably stay here for a month and learn a lot about yoga. Meditation, breathing, stretching, living, sitting, jumping, running. Maybe not running. They have some kirtans going on. Some what thing? Kirtan. Kirtan is like chanting mantra. Oh, very nice. Yeah. One more for safety. It's a video. <laughs> Come with you. Well, I think we've officially reached the outskirts. Smells like a barn, maybe a farm. There's a cow. Beetle's ashram, dead ahead. And here we have it. The front door of the Beetle's ashram. So why is it called the Beetle's ashram? Well, I think I know why. Let's, let's do a little vlog here. So the Beatles came here in 1968 because they were like insanely popular and wanted to get away from all the fame. Mm -hmm. They spent a whole bunch of time here, I guess a couple months, kind of sitting and meditating and writing songs, writing a bunch of hit songs probably. They gained some inspiration from being in this space. Yeah. <laughs> so um, people come here now to check it out. It's like mm -hmm. a little special place. It already is. The feeling is pretty peaceful. You can hear the you bird feel chirping. That. Wow. You know? Well, good for you, Ivana. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Here's the uh, prices. Uh, entry fee. Da -da 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 Foreigner. 600 rupees. <clears throat> so, the Beatles were here in 1968. Let's elaborate a little more now that I learned. Um, they composed a total of 48 songs here, which seems incredible, um, which were on their albums, The White Album, Abbey Road, and Yellow Submarine. So, like, amazing songs, hugely popular hit songs composed because of the guru here, whose name is Maharishi Mahesh. He was a yogi who had a transcendental 
meditation program. Once the Beatles came here, it really put Rishikesh on the map and it became a popular mm -hmm. tourist destination. Yep, and also it was the 60s, you guys, when all the Ooh. meditation and yes. all the hippies, they all came out, you know? So <laughs> it's just the right time for the Beatles to popularize meditation and spirituality. Yep. Yes, good point, Ivana. Mm -hmm. So I think these are like meditation pods. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine sitting in one of those. So let's see what these are. So you would just sit in here. There's a staircase going down. Is there like a kitchen down below or something? I don't know. Go check it out. I have no idea. Oh, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, just another room. It's like a meditation bunk bed. You're allowed in. This is okay. Are you breaking rules? Cool. What? 360, 360, 360, 360, Ivana, don't be a child. This is a meditation center. Who am I? <laughs> Woo! Namaste. Super hippy dippy artwork. I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it, Ivana? Yeah. I am feeling it. Man, these steps, I've seen better days, but it's okay. Okay. Oh man! Wow! I'm tripping out, man. Whoa! You thought there were mangoes on the floor? Many mangoes. No, are they? Yeah, man. Yeah. No. They are. Is this one of our favorite mini mangoes? Uh oh. No, it's not a mango, is it? It's rock hard, Ivana. Maybe it's too young. It is too young, but it is mango. So are these going to get bigger or not? Because if you guys haven't seen our other video, the mini mangoes are amazing. We had a mango taste test feast. This is not a mango. It is. You're on dope. This is not a mango. That's mango. It's the young one. Let me smell it. Well, you can't smell it yet. It's so young. This might be a mango. I don't know. Interesting. I didn't realize how big this place was. Hey. I thought it was just kind of a place to go see. It's massive. You just kind of keep like, roaming around, exploring all these old buildings that are abandoned yeah, and have some pretty community. incredible artwork on them. Check out this artwork here. I think we'll have to do a montage of the artwork we see here.
with that cool archway. Whoa, a little bit spooky, Ivana. I'm excited. I'm excited for the dungeon. This is where they locked up people who didn't meditate properly. <laughs> you would meditate uh, in one of these things. You know, you can see the sunlight coming through the broken windows. Kind of cool. Whoa. Wow, you look great there, Ivana. You look, you look like you belong there. Let it be, let it be. So really, the question is, if transcendental meditation is fantastic, and they had all the money to build these places. Why is it so empty now? Why is it abandoned, you know? Where's all the people coming to take the courses? Do you know, Ivana? I have no idea. Hmm. I don't know if this thing is still going on, if they still have teacher trainings, I have no clue. Yeah, and if they do have teacher trainings, why aren't they having them here? They got the facilities. Anyway, if you guys know, let us know in the comments down below. And then we can, you know, learn from you guys. Okay. So that's it for us at the Beatles Ashram. Did you have a good time, Ivana? Yeah, it was really cool. It was really cool. Mm. So what's our plan for the rest of the day? Uh, I think Steve is going to dip one more time in the Ganges. Oh, did you hear me talking about that? Yeah, I want to go swimming again. Mm -hmm. And then... And then that's probably it. Yeah, we're gonna get dinner. Tomorrow we have a big day. Oh yeah, check our video for tomorrow. Sunrise hike to yeah. a temple. Okay, thank you for watching everybody. Bye. It was nice getting to know you. I appreciate your time. I hope you have peace and blessings oh. in all your future affairs. <laughs> wow, that was really beautiful, no? Namaste. Namaste.